What's up guys, my name is Potato and welcome back to another Service Saturday and happy holidays to everybody. Uh, regardless of what you celebrate, I hope you have a great weekend with your family and friends. Anyways, we're kicking it off by visiting uh, Ornax's Stone Fort. That's what it's called. He says he's bad with names. That's fine. Stone Fort works for me. It's a pretty massive build, um, so I'm, I'm really excited to check it out. He included a custom version of uh, John Smith that he wanted to be used with this. Apparently he changed a few textures. This right here looks to be completely changed uh, or reverted to an older one. I can't remember. Uh, but I think these are double stone slabs. I'm not sure. But uh, anyways, custom John Smith. Pretty cool. I like it so far. But uh, then again, I am a big fan of John Smith. He has a sign here that says, Welp, hope the world didn't end. Well, it didn't, but... Uh, only the smart people knew that, apparently. Up the stairs over here, we have the uh, place where, where the captain hangs out. He's got his crazy compass here that, that just keeps doing its own thing. I think it changes to where I'm looking. Pretty sure that's how this works. There you go. That's pretty cool that it works, though. And we have a clock here that uh, should also work. Yep, no, it's going away. Let's do a quick time day, by the way. There we go. Switch that up. And uh, where he puts his 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 driving his his wheel. Can I get that on there? I could probably do it. It just kind of sucks it down, doesn't it? Anyways, pretty cool looking boat. Um, I don't think that there's a whole lot to it. But I say that knowing nothing about what the boat has. <laughs> so let's see if there's a way of getting down below. And here it is. Some stairs, we got the storage room. Just imagine some cool stuff down here. Alright, we got some cool stuff over here. Got some more cool stuff there. Got another stack of cool stuff. And uh, some gold. Just cool cool stuff. I mean, Ryan seems to like it a lot. So that's pretty cool. We got a bunch of chests. And we have one that's down in the center. Which is just a sort Oh, and we're missing. We're missing two here. Maybe he ran out and got bored. You don't have anything in here, so how about you have some roses? I don't know. All right, I got a head in here, for whatever reason. Let's um, go back up. Uh, we'll just use a compass. We'll get. We'll use a compass to get out of there. I like the sails. They're a little bit different. Most people do the square ones. He's doing uh, the little triangle bits, which works for me. I like it. Seems like they would be a little bit tougher to make, though. You know, to get them uh, looking just right. So let's hop, to, hop off the boat, not use the ladder at all. He's got his boat right here, a tiny little boat. I guess he doesn't need a big old ship uh, every time he goes out to sail. This one has torches in it. Over here we have, welcome to Stone Fort Thingy. Oh, it's literally called Stone Fort Thingy. I thought he just put Thingy there because he puts Thingies, Thingies places where people are. I don't know. Ye old boat rental. Yeah. Would you like to try out this boat, sir? Sure, I'd love to. It seems to drift a little bit to the right. Or perhaps I was just too heavy for it. I don't know. I ruined the boat rental place. Hopefully they don't bill me. Ye new fishing gear. Oh, I see what you did there. Uh, from head... What? From head to that seaweed that was stuck to its tail. Oh. Once caught one this big from head to that sea there. Oh, <laughs> I get it. I, I get jokes, especially early Saturday mornings where my brain is totally working good. Rampage's house. Rampager. Ram, Rampada. He has a giant fireplace here. He has cobwebs in there. That's not good. That's not good. This will catch fire. Good thing we don't have fire spread on. He has a jukebox here with uh, the C418 song Cat, Rampager's Pointless Disc. Pretty neat, has a little chest, got a little plant, got a little uh, sink. It seems like this would be a terrible kitchen to have everything like so low to the ground because then you gotta, you gotta go up to him and you're like, Ugh, just trying to wash my hands, you know. Pop that back open, there we go. And over here we have these black fists. Black, black fist. The black fist. No longer the blacksmith, but the black fist. 
Stop calling him fat. All right, fair enough. I have an anvil, a little bed. I do like um, your 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 slabs here. They're they're actually kind of nice. They, they may they they're a bit bright for um, for this texture pack. I feel, but um, I don't know. Maybe you could have li lightened up the the cobblestone. You know, or maybe that's the look he's looking for. If that's the look he's going for, then you you you'd spot on. It's very nice. I like how you can't walk in here either. Because that's definitely what I was about to do. I was about to walk into there and just, you know, check it out. But nope, the Sleepy Face Hotel. I thought that was going to say the Sleepy Face Hole. Welcome to the Face Hole, where you put your face in holes and you sleep. It's pretty simple. Got three bedrooms. Holy shit, this place is awesome. This hotel would be awesome. You got a desk, you got a double bed. You got like a little dining room table with some nice flowers. Nice view of the blacksmith or blackfist, sorry. And uh, you got a closet. What else do you need? Pretty sure that's all you need. Got another one of the same. And oh, we got a ladder. Does this go to the roof? Sure does. You can come out here and hang out. Maybe maybe play some ping pong. That's that's probably what people do, right? I'm sure. I'm sure people in medieval times have played ping pong. What are they going to do with all the ping pong balls they have? Got rooms one and two down below. Not as big, but still pretty nice. Much bigger than uh, normal hotel rooms that are built on the server. That's for sure. Okay, well that's going to do for a face hole hotel. Across the street from there we have Fall in Your Face Winery. Alright. I don't know, he, he's pretty good with names. I kind of like I, I like all these names. I got all the wine barrels down here with their buttons. That deposit wine, I'm pretty sure that's how wine works. You just press a button, just the wine comes out. I'm not much of a wine drinker, so I wouldn't really actually know. I uh, got a balcony where the wine people can come and uh, spend their mornings. And uh, a backyard. Oh, the, okay, I get you, the vineyard. Squish your grapes machine thingy. Oh man, <laughs> that's that's really clever. That's awesome. I like the vineyard too. That's actually that's very nice. Really went uh, above and beyond on this. However, walking through these is a pain in the butt. There we go. Close that up. Go downstairs and check out what's further into the town. Turtles bar and munch. All right, that did say turtle, right? Sure did. Sometimes my mouth goes faster than my eyes, and so I just start speaking without reading. It happens a lot more than than you think. Well, perhaps you know. I mean, I I stumble over my words all the time. All right, there we go. I'm good at closing doors, guys. I am. I promise. There's there was one time where I closed two doors. In the blink of an eye, I and I didn't mess up at all. It's a true story. House of Ink Chick. Ink Chick uh, was just on Server Saturday not too long ago. She made that giant old castle thing that was, um, well, it should have been its own episode. I think it was uh, it was mixed in with a few other things and it made it super long. This one, however, is probably going to be its own episode because we're only halfway through the town and we haven't even hit the giant castle in the back. Over here, needles and thorns. Flower shop. Of course, every place needs a good flower shop because, well, where are you going to get all those flowers that you put on your desk and stuff? I do like this. This is nice. It's very nice and open with uh, all the windows and crap. Across the street from flowers and junk, we got Frank and junk and the grounds, grounds junk. Uh, junk. Fr Frank's Frank the ground, groundkeeper. <laughs> Who likes flowers? He does. He doesn't have an office or anything. He just comes in here to, to sleep and and hold his dirt because he he keeps the ground that's that's what it is and he likes meat I like I like Frank he's a he's a down-to-earth guy you know he keeps it simple this doesn't even have a sign so this is room or house I, I guess um, depending on how you look at it it's a pretty cool house has a nice view of the uh, the ocean and stuff out here and um, the jungle over over there but you know 
Some people like jungles. I am not particularly fond of them because I just I can't make anything pretty come out of a jungle. I've tried. I just can't do it. Not to say that other people can't. I like this. I don't know if this is like supposed to be like a snow cone like place or or the lifeguard because I feel like him being behind you know maybe it's just a hut. Maybe it's just a hut to hang out. Like hey guys, you want to go down to the, the beach hut? And that's it. That's the, that's the hut you go to. Pretty sweet. And uh, I'm pretty sure that there's a lot more town to look at. Hopefully. Pretty sure we haven't gone through all. No, Frank had a pathway over here. Hmm. Okay. So Frank, he does a lot of the, the gardening and and farming and and animaling. Pretty sure that's the right word. So you got separate pens for all the different animals. We got pigs, sheep. We got some chickens, and uh, and cows. Not bad. All right. Oh no. See, 12 minutes have already gone by since the ship. So let's reset that sun, and um, I'm gonna take the back way over here. Let's see if we can't <sighs> hop on over here. The gift shop. Okay. So coming up here, we have well, a little relaxation area, I guess. Uh, it's connected to that place. We, we went to this place, didn't we? No, we did not, because it has no name. We went to there, and then we went down that way. Alright, so there's this place. <sighs> Excuse me. <clears throat> like I said, it's early morning. So this has got uh, the little backyard area that we already saw. Uh, this seems to be just someone's house. A very nice house. We got a two-story house. Um, for someone to have that, you must be doing pretty good. That and it's like right in front of the castle. Whoop! Can only imagine what this place would have cost. Too much. Too much money. Just couldn't. I couldn't do it. I couldn't afford it. Maybe the. Maybe it's one of the guards. Guard. I mean, he has a guard house here. It's just guard house. It's just one guard here. He, he does a really good job. He's really efficient, so he, does, he doesn't need anybody else. Got a couple of epic paintings in the back. Got like a knight or something fighting fighting a Dagron. We have another Dagron here fighting horses or cowboys. So it's cowboys versus the dragon and knights versus the dragon. Who, who do you think is going to win? My money's on the cowboys. They need to know what they're doing. There's the barracks down here. So I guess there is more than one guard. Got the little training place back here. These guys waving hi. Hello. Hello. Very nice. Little dummies. Have some bows and arrows. Not bad. Extra wood and string. In case some stuff breaks. And back up to the top. That seems uh, pretty terrible that the guards, they have to sleep underground. I think I climb up a ladder just to go to work. Hmm. We got a gift shop over here. Not a bong. All right, five gold. Pet rock, not bad. Mini cactus. That's actually, I didn't know they could put cactus in a flower pot. That's pretty cool. I got some lapis and yellow snow, which is not melting, which is uh, it's, it's pretty impressive in its own right. Um... All right, well, I guess it's uh, time to make our way to the castle and actually see what's going down in there. Boom, ba boom. Fancy old entryway. Not bad. I like all the uh, support beams and stuff. Pretty cool. I didn't think that I'd like smooth stone and, and smooth stone brick together as much as I do. That's, uh, that's not bad. Have a couple fountains over here, continuing with the grand entrances. We've got a crazy chandelier and more awesome stuff in here. What is this? Are these dispensers? What is that? I don't know what those are. Those are nice though. I like them. It's the thing about using a new texture pack. You're not quite sure what everything is just yet. Downstairs we have crazy farms. A bunch of stuff. Not bad. He even got a tree farm. Or I guess he chops down the leaves or something. Or wood storage. Wood oh shit, we got more stuff. We got vines. And uh, Jenga. Jenga berries. 
That's pretty neat. I like that. What's over here, though? I don't... Hmm. Okay, well, we'll just... Oh! Oh! Water! Okay, so it's like a mushroom thing. Okay, I get you. So the plates don't actually do anything, it's this. The plates were just there to hold it. Okay. I get you. Uh, do you have any chests or anything down here? No? Okay. Um, well, I'm going to put them in this chest. The top one here. There's your mushrooms back. Pretty crazy storage room right here. Got the names of uh, all the stuff that's on the bottom. We got a potion laboratory. They got uh, some sort of lava farm. Which isn't really, you know, it's not a lava farm, but you know what I mean. Um, I thought they said love buckets. I think that would have been much more impressive. We have a pickaxe. I think that signifies the mine. We have a spider down there. So we're not going to go down there. Not bad. Pretty cool. Let's go check out the other side. Yeah. Come on. Go, 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 go. What is this? Lava storage. 200 of 200. Okay. 200, 200. Empty sand. What? what? Empty? Oh. <laughs> That's empty sand. I was like, how do you, how do you have an empty sand? That not make any goddamn sense. We got wood and wood products. That's how I usually separate my stuff. Plain wood versus stuff that you make with wood. With wood. I have some sort of beach thing down here. What does it say? Hot tub and pole for science. <laughs> Alright, so you got the science pole over there. And another place with a, a spawner, which is uh, carefully guarded by a bunch of lava. Not bad. I, I like how you brought in a little piece of the nether. Pretty sweet. I have another sign. Had to do this theme for nether wart farm and such. Okay. So you did this whole thing just for another wart. Alright, fair enough. Oh man, you got another staircase down here. Swirly swirly nether portal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be there if uh, if we had them enabled. This is broken. This seems very dangerous. Um, I feel like that's not supposed to be there like that. Hmm. Maybe he ran out of bricks. Or maybe he was working on something. I do not know. Oh, excuse me again, I am full yawns today. <clears throat> Just like I am every morning. Alright, well, that's gonna do it for the nether place. Let's go back uh, upstairs and actually see what the whole castle's about. Alright, so... Ooh, wait, which way did we come in? We didn't come in through that way. We didn't come in through that We came in through here, okay. So this is where we started, right here. We came in. Ooh, nice and pretty. Um, let's go check out the giant library over here. We got a collection of books, of all sorts of books, any sort of book you need. If you need a book, he's got it. Just come and take a look at all these books. That's a free rhyme for all of you. We have uh, an enchanting thing here that goes up to 30. Let's get us something. Efficiency 3, that's okay, I guess, but... I want durability or something fancier, you know, like silk touch or something else on it. I don't know. You got to use an anvil to get better um, enchantments. And I like this. I like these flumes. That's nice. There's a spider somewhere around in here, though. What's raining outside? It stopped raining. I think it knew I was recording. I was afraid that you guys were going to hear the rain the whole time, but eh, I think we're all right. Not rain in Minecraft, by the way. It's raining here, where I live. Have a nice garden out in the back here. With, uh, whoa, crazy trees. I'm hearing, it's like a spider is following me or something. Maybe he's underground, I don't know. Um, got a lapis tree, we got a diamond tree, emerald tree, that's pretty nice. Um, coal and redstone, not bad. Keeping it fancy over here with uh, with rare plant types. 
boom, boom, jumping, jumping. We have this. I don't even know what this is. Huh. Maybe it opens up later on. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being crazy. Hopefully we'll figure it out later on. If not, there's that area over there. Man, I am getting stalked right now. Okay, let's get out of that room so we don't hear any more mobs. Let's check out this room. Why not? Okay, it's pretty empty. Oh, over here we have something. Another little kitchen with a, a garden. Man, there it's you. You have some, some animal or mob problems down below. Oh, it's the bathroom. Okay. So uh, I don't think that's a kitchen. I think this is a bathroom, <laughs> which would make more sense. You know, a kitchen mixed with toilets. That, does, that doesn't mix. You know. And this must be the other bathroom. Please do not urinate in the fountain. <laughs> so this is definitely the guy's uh, bathroom. I like the iron down below. Not bad. We must be above the lava. I can hear it bu bubbling down below. Oh no, time day. No, time day again. There we go. Uh, it's like a pool. It's pretty cool. Pools are cool. That's what I'm getting at. Pretty neat. Doesn't look like there's anything hidden out there. If there is, oops. Not, I'm not very good at, at, at uh, finding hidden things. Get out of here. I'll take all of that. Pew! Pew! You can have that back. One quesadilla, four lapis, hoot pukit, one emerald, and M&M's two redstone. Huh. I can only imagine what your your system is here. Nachos, three di three diamond for nachos. Uh, one hot dog, thirteen iron. Man, you guys are all over the place. Ten diamond for water. I must be at a theme park or something. Uh, gummy bears, one cobble per bear. Yeah. Okay. Bacon free with purchase of zero double zero gummy bear. I think that's supposed to be a one, but maybe you hit shift. Skittles, three iron. Man, this place has some crazy prices. All right, Casablanca. Oh, it's a movie theater. That's what it is. That's why it costs so much. The Sandlot. Oh, brother, where art thou? The Mummy. Fight Club, Spaceballs. Man, this place plays a lot of cool movies. The original Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Princess Bride. Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Star Wars Saving Private Sniper Q. <laughs> Morgan Freeman talking. We're going to see that one. We're going to go see Morgan Freeman talking. Oh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I love that movie. That was a good movie. Four, uh, tickets is four gold. I don't have four gold. Oh, you got a bunch of paper in here. I guess I'm just going to have to take one. All right, well, we got a ticket. Let's go check out the projection system. No, not porn. Okay. Well, let's just put it on a movie. That's, that's how projections work. Projectors. You just flap them a few times and then they work. That's just how it is. One Snickers. Three Musketeers. Taco. Oh man, this place sells taco too. Tacos. Ink's chair. Well, I guess I'm sitting on your lap then, Ink. Here we go. Gonna watch a movie. What is this? For the visually impaired. Oh. <laughs> it's a seat right in the front. Man, that would suck. You gotta turn your head so much. Um, Alright. Well, that's pretty cool. I like it. I like the speaker systems and stuff. Not bad. Oh, I should probably put my ticket back. Boop. There you go. Oh, I went into the first slot, but that's fine. Not bad. Looks like we got a couple of buttons over here. In case it breaks and stuff button. Got bored, so made this button thing. Yeah. Okay. Two. Three. I'm really good at counting, guys. No, 
not bad. I couldn't do that. It would take too much time and too much of messing up for me to be able to do something like that. A couple of fires out here in the back. Nothing behind it. It'd be cool if lighting up all this stuff opened up that thing in the back. But part of me just thinks that that is just nothing. But just for shits and gigs, let's go check it out. This is the wrong one. I think it's across from here. Nope. It's over here, behind the library. That's right. Nope. It didn't. Oh well. That's okay. Anyways, we stand. That only covers the the, the the basement and the first floor, so we gotta go up no more. I like this. How you're holding up all the lights? It's pretty cool. And over here we have something I'm not sure of yet. We got a sword. I guess this would be some sort of war room where they discuss plans of attack. Pretty scary. We don't we don't belong in there. We're, we're definitely not. This is the throne room. That's what this is. Got some crazy beacons back here. So he's fought um, at least four, apparently, because this is there's four stars right there. Got a couple of swords and um, or a sword and an axe. Not bad. Pretty cool looking throne room. I like how you use two stairs. Not bad. A couple more seats right there. Over here we have also Ink seat. Well, Ink just has her butt all over this place. Some maps. Got a map of the, uh, the island, or the castle rather. Pretty cool that you went uh, through the trouble of doing that. And out back, it looks like just a balcony that wraps around. Yep. Okay. Let's check out pew, over here. It's a lot of stuff in this place. It's definitely going to be a one episode uh, week, but that's fine. Um, got an anvil with a light under it. That's pretty cool. Another one over there. The fairest sword in all the land. It's also pretty damn sexy too. <laughs> the the orgy blade, right? That's right. I made him the sword for uh, for donating quite a bit uh, a while back. I guess he hasn't used it at all, or he he repaired it again and, and left it in here. Um, it's a pretty pretty awesome sword right there. Uh, for people that do donate a good amount, uh, I try to give them a little bit extra as a bigger incentive. We got a piano. <laughs> I like it. Not bad. I mean, well, it's not a real piano, but you know, it's it's good enough. Pretty cool. I like it. I am a sucker for pianos. Okay, and boop over here. Giant fountain room. Pretty nuts. We got a couple of uh, paintings, big old paintings. You got a ship. Crazy ship. I wonder if that's his ship. It's probably his ship. It probably ran over all these other ships and just like, oh, no, sorry. It's just, you know, it's too big. Can't control it. Whoa, that is neat. I like I like seeing new paintings. It's one of the biggest um, pluses of using a bigger texture pack is that you get more detail in the in the paintings. I have a little place to walk over to the other room, I guess. Hmm. One more yawn. <clears throat> I just can't seem to, to not yawn. Uh, another cool photo, giant TV or projection of some sort, a library, this place just has a little bit of everything that we've already seen. Another big old uh, drug room with a bunch of levers that I just I don't understand. They probably do something. I'm, I'm not going to touch them. Little room right here, got the thinking machine. It's just up here, and I, I assume 
It just keeps going around and around. Go. Go. No, you're going the wrong way. Why is there only one switch, though? Oh. Huh. They light each other up? Well, now I'm confused. I don't understand how that works. But all right, let's just go back up here and we'll we'll turn it off. I like the new sounds of uh, of the carts and stuff. Pretty cool. Sounds like a roller coaster now, you know. Other than that, what do we got over here? We got another little training room with more junk in it. We got a spiral staircase that goes up. We got a zombie. He could have been one of the zombies uh, following me from earlier. Slop. It goes up to the top. What's in the top center? Boop -boop -boop. We got a pool. So he's just like, you know what? If you're going to spend the time to walk all the way up here and get all tired out and everything like that, we'll give you a pool. So you can hang out and relax. I feel like diamond pickaxes should poke them a little bit stronger than just, you know, one or two. It should only take like three hits. That took what, five? That's too much. Basketball court. Because you got to get your basketball on. Bam! Nailed it. Have that rotten meat. I think there was another basketball court too somewhere. It was probably on this other side. There it is. Oh, it's a volleyball court. Not bad. We got a seat up there too for the referee to do their thing. Pretty cool. I like the redstone that's just a wire. That's pretty cool. Tennis court. Not bad. Got a lot of sports up top. And uh, I'm pretty sure that covers the whole place. I am probably missing some stuff. Like these towers right here. Boop. We, uh, we didn't actually make it through here. Doesn't look like there's... Oh, there is a ladder right over here in the corner. For uh, the guards to get up here. I highly doubt that this place is going to have uh, any more detail than just that. Because, I mean, it's it's the guards. What, what do they need? A place to sleep. And uh, ammo to, to fire at things. So that's actually going to do it for this, uh, this Server Saturday, everybody. Thanks for watching the video. If you like this video, make sure to give it a sweet like. Um, definitely uh, make my day and my my Christmas um, this weekend. But uh, applications for Mongoose Country are actually still open. It's open a little bit longer, uh, mainly because we we still got some more stuff in the works uh, for the new members, and we haven't quite finished them yet. And because it's holidays, and why not have? them open a little bit longer for more people to apply. So if you haven't yet, go to mongoosecountry.com and you can apply for Mongoose Country uh, to be a part of this amazing server. We got about two more months left on this map. That's about where I'm thinking about a map reset. So new members that come on, you still have plenty of time to get out something pretty cool. Uh, maybe not something as big as this unless you're on every single day, which is fine. The server is open 24 seven, go figure. Um, it being a server and all. Anyways, gonna go. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys next week.